Okay, so here we are then uh, in the set. I apparently, I always start these things with the word so. I'm going to start again. <laughs> Meanwhile, here we are on the set. Back the back, <laughs> this is uh, my very first interview with Lawrence. Can you please complete your name for me? Uh, I can, yes. Hello, I'm Lawrence Saunders. And I just, Saunders. Saunders, yes. I did know that, you but didn't I know forgot. That. Oh, don't remind you. That, now I'm trying to work out whether I should be looking at you, whether you want me to look down the lens. And now everyone always asks me, the lens is good, the lens, uh, because, okay. because then I can... Oh, oh hello. Oh, no. uh, that's, that's quite <laughs> swarthy, that. Um, uh, uh, you're playing. Uh, I'm playing Kenny. Kenny. Yeah, who's one of the Bagley boys, um, and um, he's, I suppose, is the kind of, um, in some ways, the arty one. He, he likes to sketch things. Okay. Uh, he's um, fairly laid back, I suppose, um, and I don't want to give too much away. Uh, so that's all I'm going to say okay. about him. Nothing like, you know, he, he, he has to remember what it was like to use his hands or, or, or anything. Um, well, I don't know. He can use his hands. He's not. He's not forgotten how to use them. No, no, no. I meant, you know, later on in the. In, well, I don't, in, in, in case, in case they were blown off or something. Well, I don't know. I mean, th that kind of thing is a spoiler, isn't it? Okay. All right. Sorry. No, that never happened. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's move swiftly on. We'll, we'll edit that bit out. Okay. Fine. Um, uh, now, you have uh, recently become involved with the Burning Boys. How did you find out about it? Um, well, I found out about it because I worked with uh, Rebecca and Mike and Ben and also Dan. I just turned around, he's gone. But you can't see that. No, he's, uh, he's gone, he ran away. And, and some of the other casts actually on a, a film called The Snarling. Uh, I've heard of it, yes. Yes, uh, which is a comedy horror film. So, quite different. To this, although there are there's there comedic are and comedic hor horrible no moments, yeah, yeah, no, no doubt. Uh, yes, yes, there are in this. So that, that means, so yeah, there are parallels there. But that's um, how I came uh, across it. Um, they sent me the scripts. I thought the script was really great. Um, I th thought it was, um, well, like you said, there's there's, the, there's humour in it, but also there's a lot of uh, um, compassion. I think really. Yes. And it's. Uh, I don't know, yeah, it's just a, a great thing in terms of, uh, where are we now, we're a hundred years to exactly to the middle of the First World War and yeah. I think it's, it's important to remember things like this because you, you hope that, that we'd learn from history and when you start to forget things you're doomed happen. to repeat them. You're doomed to repeat them. And even if you remember them, we yeah, seem to be doomed to repeat them. Well, that's true, yes, and uh, there's, there's a strong uh, there's strong messages throughout it, isn't there? It's not exactly anti-war, but it's 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 trying to be as realistic yeah. as possible about yeah. the losses incurred and yeah, definitely. And I think what the great thing, I mean, in the first episode, the pilot episode, anyway, you can see the in the mail in the main, not everybody, but there's a when war's declared, there seems to be an excitement, and the idea that you know, all the soon be over and people um, when they set up the pals battalions that that's the thing to do to go with your mates and and you know it's going to be a bit of a walk in the park so how, how have you been able to uh, have you used any particular what, what are you using to find your character i'm uh, i mean for example uh, do you have any i'm assuming you haven't any wartime experience but are you, are you an <coughs> artist are you or are you drawing on people you know um well i've not thankfully had any personally had any wartime or military experience, but then that fits because obviously the guys, but certainly where we are at the moment, the... Of course, we all, we all go into this blissfully unaware. Yes, yeah, 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 so I think that's, that's, that's relevant. In terms of uh, looking at it uh, from the, the whole story, there's, um, I imagine, like most people, there are, and this is going back, obviously, I've got relatives who... Uh, we fought in the Second World War, like grandparents mm. and uh, great uncles and whatnot, and, and then their relatives, or well, my relatives, but a generation before who um, served in the First World War. So there are a lot of family stories about things that happened, and it's interesting because it's uh, the real things that happen. The reality of it is quite different from the way that often it's it's portrayed. Yes, absolutely. Uh, or certainly the way that the the, the Bagley boys. Uh, we're looking at it 
um, when you know when the war was first declared, as I've already said, you know, mm. that kind of excitement, it's a thing to do, it's almost like a, a boy's own adventure when the reality of it is. And in fact we've just done, well it's our first scene together, yes. uh, where we're all sat around a pub table discussing when, uh, or if and when we're going to go yeah. off in one of the battalions, yeah. and there's certainly this sense across across the table between everyone that it's a bit of a lock. Yes, yeah, I mean there's, uh, yeah definitely, that's the, the general consensus isn't it, I think there's, uh, there's, um, there's a couple of minor dissenting voices I suppose. Mm. Well I suppose they uh, sort of foreshadow people's doubts about what it's like to be in combat. Yeah, yeah. I think we just had the line of bullets whizzing round your ears and yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, never a truer word. So, uh, you're a proper actor, I've said so again. Now, you're a proper actor, <laughs> which means that you do lots of uh, auditions and things like that. Yeah. Uh, any notable highlights or lowlights you'd like to tell God, us about? I don't know if you should talk about the lowlights. Well, you can talk about, everyone talks about the lowlights. Low lights. Um, I don't know, um, notable highlights, I don't know. Uh, obviously, we've talked about the Starling. Uh, yeah. That was great fun to do that, and that's, that's just one... Uh, an award in the States for the best horror film uh, at the festival there. Oh, fantastic. Uh, so that was there, that's been, that was great. Uh, other things I've done, I've done telly and, and film and things, films that have won awards. Anything, different. anything that perhaps I might have seen you in? Uh, yeah, but it depends what you watch. Okay, um, okay I did. Uh, well, so I was going to suggest Heartbeat and Casualty. Um, I, I Colby imagine... City. Oh, really? Colby City. Were uh, you a, a corpse? Or, no, or no, I was a corpse. <laughs> Um, what was I in that? I was a bloke who was the um, resources and administrations manager and I sacked one of the regular characters. Oh, it? right, fantastic. Uh, I was in, in Doctors, I was, uh, I've done that a few times, but the last thing I did, I was uh, not a very nice man and I was nominated for Villain of the Year at the British Soap You're Awards. not being typecast in any way, are Well, you? I'm, I'm nice in this. Oh, okay, that's alright then. So you get a chance to sort of display other aspects. Yeah, and, yeah that, to talent. display both aspects. <laughs> <laughs> nice and nasty. <laughs> uh, so that's two different faces I have to pull. Yeah. So yeah, things like that. Well, I was in a, a TV series that was reported to the European Court of Human Rights. So maybe that's a low light. Really? What language. was that one? That was um, Frankie Boyle's Tramadol Nights. Oh, of course. Yeah, good, I've heard, heard good that, great, yeah. controversial. Yeah. But all sorts, like all actors, you end up doing all sorts. You didn't have to go to the European Court of no, Human Rights. No, no, but it wasn't. I don't think it was me. It was okay. It wasn't you that dragged it down. Frankie Boyle desperately trying to stay, you know, yeah, no, no, clean no, and mainstream. Yeah, no, and he spoiled no, no, it for him. It for him yeah. yeah, I imagine he'd be very <laughs> upset about that. So, okay, come on. We have to do then the low lights. Uh, um, we're still str struggling to beat Chris's uh, experience of standing nipple deep in the North Sea on a November, on a November yeah. evening. Can you beat that? Um, I've not stood in the North Sea. Um, I've done similar things where we had to do some pickup days, which is when the, uh, you've been on the main shoot and then maybe a couple of scenes or things that they've not uh, managed to catch then, so they rearrange to do rearrange uh, to, to shoot those, so, and then they can edit it into the film. Yeah. There was a film once where we'd been shooting this sequence, and we were down. On, it was in the summer where we'd shot the main section of the film, and we were down on a beach, and it was really hot and sunny. And then there was a bit from the the evening following that that just got dropped from the schedule because of timing. So we ended up shooting that. Um, Nowhere near a beach in the mid in the middle of the Midlands in December. Oh. In free and it had been snowing, and uh, and, and what you were in your flip flops and that kind costume. of thing. Yeah, oh, pretending fantastic. that it was still fairly warm. I've had a couple of things like that. Another horror movie where I was, where um, I mean, it looked really good that the snow was falling through the uh, um, the open roof in this satanic kind of temple that they built. Nice. But I'm there in a, just a pair of leather trousers and an open shirt thinking, I've got to look a bit scary and actually really cold. So, things like that. I'm sure even scary monsters get cold. Yes. <laughs> yes, that, that was the moral of the story. Well, hopefully we'll bring you... Uh, well, having brought you onto the Baggy Boys, you'll still have some things you can add on to. Hopefully nothing too terrible. No, but it's, it's, been, it's been great fun and it's yeah, yeah. so far. So. Pleasure having you along. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you.